Okay, so, uh, Algebra 2, kiddos, this is Part 2 of Lesson 5.4, Dividing Polynomials. In Part 1, uh, we dealt with only Objective 1, which is that we did polynomial long division. Uh, this video, whoops, this video will have to do with Objective 2 which is that we will be able to divide polynomials using synthetic division. Now, this is a much easier way to do things. Um, it shouldn't take as long. Okay. Synthetic division simplifies the long division process for dividing by x minus a, which is what goes on the outside of the division sign. To use synthetic division, write the coefficients, including zeros, of the polynomial in standard form. Okay? Now the coefficients, coefficients mean the number in front of the variable. Okay? Now this x minus a is important. Okay? Here's why. It says use synthetic division to divide x to the third minus x 14x squared plus 51x minus 54 by x plus 2. So here's what synthetic division does. Okay? You have what I call the box. All right. So instead of putting x plus 2 on the outside, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take now, remember, it's x minus a. That's like the formula. So this is really x minus negative 2, because minus a negative is plus. So what that means is that this number is going in the box. Okay. So basically, if you want to think of it this way, just do the opposite. Now, what are our coefficients? Well, 1 is in front of x to the third, negative 14 is in front of x squared, 51 is in front of x, and then negative 54 is the constant. Now, we didn't skip any variables, so we don't have any zeros. Notice how I spaced out the numbers. Now, skip a line and put a line there, because we're going to put numbers here in this row. Okay. Now, you always drop the first number. The first number just drops down. Okay? Now, we're going to do 1 times the number in the box. So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Now, in long division, we were subtracting. Okay? In this, we are adding. So negative 14 plus negative 2 is negative 16. Now I take negative 16 times negative 2 in the box, and I get positive 32. So that's 83. I'm adding. Okay. So now, 83 times negative 2. Negative, oh boy, mental math, 166. So when you add those together, oh geez, more mental math. Uh, uh, 220. God, I hope that's right. Okay, now. It says, what is the quotient and what is the remainder? The last number you get is always, oh my God, learn how to write, son, is the remainder. Sorry about my chicken scratch. It's hard with this stylus. Okay, the last number is always the remainder. Now, the original polynomial was degree 3. When you do synthetic division, these are now the coefficients of a degree 2 polynomial. It's a quadratic. In other words, when you do synthetic division, the degree goes down by 1. So, this turns into just x squared. This becomes minus 16x. This becomes plus 83. So that's, that's the quotient right there. Okay? And then the negative 220 is the remainder. Okay, so that's synthetic division. It's actually pretty good. It's act very much easier than long division. I thought I was going to need that. I didn't need it. Okay, now, word problem. So they give you a polynomial, and that expresses the volume in cubic inches of the shadow box shown. Now, volume is length times width times Nope, don't go to the next slide. Times height. Okay. 
It says, what are the dimensions of the box? Hint, the length is greater than the height or the depth. Here's what we're using. All the way at the bottom there, it says x plus 5. So that means negative 5 goes in the box. Now, do your coefficients. 1, 7, negative 38, negative 240. Okay. Skip a line. Drop the 1. Now, by the way, we didn't skip any variables, right? We went x to the third, x squared, x constant. So there's no zeros up there. All right, 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Add, you get 2. Negative 5 times 2, negative 10. Add them, negative 48. Negative 5 times negative 48, positive 240. Add them, you get 0. Okay, so here's what that means. Okay, that means that now that is x squared, that is plus 2x, and this is negative 48. Now, we have to solve this. We've got to set it equal to 0. It's probably easier for you to factor this. I mean, you could do quadratic formula, but why would you do that if you can factor? Okay, if you're still not good at factoring, you need to, like, see me in a, like, in a hurry. Okay, here's my x's. I need two numbers that multiply to negative 48 and add to 2. So we're talking positive 8 and negative 6. Okay? So, that means that, let's see, it says the length is greater than the height or depth. Well, I don't really care about that. These are my dimensions. I'm not going to worry about what's greater than what. We're not going to solve for x. They just want to know the dimension. So that was one dimension. x plus 5 was a dimension. So we're not solving for x. We're just going to leave the factors as is. So your three factors are x plus 8, x minus 6, and x plus 5. Okay. When you get that zero remainder, what that means is, is that x plus 5 goes into this evenly Okay, with a zero remainder. Remainder theorem. Remainder theorem is like another way of like plugging a number in for x. So you can use um, synthetic division to do that instead of, like if you look at this problem, they want to know what p of 3 is. Now when you do p of 3, normally that means plug in 3 for x. Okay, So then you get your calculator out and you punch everything in and it takes forever. Well here put three in the box, let's do synthetic division. Now, whatever the last number is, is going to be the answer. Now, take a look. One, they skipped x to the fourth. Zero. Negative two, negative one. Oh, they skipped x. Zero, two. When they skip a variable, you have to put a zero there. Bring the one down. One times three is three. Add. 3 times 3 is 9, add. 7 times 3 is 21, add. 20 times 3, 60, add. 60 times 3, 180. That's, that's an 8. That's the worst. Oh, my God. One day they're going to make technology where my stylus is actually a pen and not this thing with a big rubber thing at the end of it. Yee. 180, add. This is your answer. So... P of 3 equals 182. Now, again, could you do 3 to the 5th minus 2 times 3 to the 3rd minus 3 squared plus 2 and put that on your calculator? Yeah, but this just took way less time. Okay, This is multiply and add, multiply and add until you get to the end. Okay, So you can use synthetic division to actually evaluate a function at a certain number. Like I said, this does not take a lot of time, so um, this video is significantly shorter. Um, that's part two of section 5.4.